Hi BTN, my name's Elias and my question is how does the internet work? Mission accepted. It's our go-to for top secret answers. It's how we snoop out our friends. Oh wow, Amelia's popcorn looks amazing. And it's where you can tap into some really funny videos. Uh. <laughs> Every time. And we can access this stuff pretty much anywhere at any time. It's the internet. But it's come a long way from where it started. The internet can be traced back to the 1960s in the US. It started as a network of just four computers that were running on different operating systems which could share information. Local universities and government departments linked into that network and other countries joined it too, turning it into a massive international network and giving it the name we use today. But the guy who helped the internet really take off was Tim Berners-Lee. In 1989, he created a system used for sharing information on the internet, which he named the World Wide Web. Now, around 3.2 billion people around the world use the internet. Anyone can post information on there, that's why it's really important not to believe everything you read. But how does it all actually work? Well, I went on a little mission to ask an expert. Hi, Jesse. How are you going? Hello, Tash. Sorry <laughs> about the noise. There's a lot of computers busy at work here today. It is a bit loud. Yeah. Um, well, thanks for having me. So can you tell me, Jesse, how on earth does the internet work? Yeah, well, look, there, there are millions of computers and servers just like this that connect us all around the world, okay? And they're connected by these, these very large cables, but believe it or not, most of these cables that connect these together are actually under the sea. These cables are about as thick as a can of soft drink. They're buried in shallow areas of the ocean or found in water up to 8,000 metres deep. They carry fibre optic cables that allow internet data to travel from one place to another really quickly. And they're a lot quicker and reliable than satellites because data doesn't need to travel up and then back down again. The internet wouldn't be possible without these cables, so people and even sharks have tried to damage them in the past. What if I wanted to send a picture to, a, say, a friend overseas? How does that all work? <laughs> yeah, good question. So, look, think of every computer and every website. It, it has what's called an IP address, which is like a street address, OK? So if you want to send a, a picture to a friend of yours overseas, if we imagine for a moment that that picture is like a puzzle and it has hundreds of tiny puzzle pieces connected to it, OK? And what, what we do is when we send that picture, these little pieces, they get sent one by one and they have pieces of information on them that tell us where we want to send that picture to, OK? And once that picture reaches its destination, it stitches itself back up and you get to see the picture on the other end. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. Well, thanks for teaching me a bit more about the internet. No worries. <laughs> So I think I've accomplished my mission. <laughs> That's a wrap.